Hello, um, uh, today we have here a uh, Mercedes C450, uh, uh, which is uh, 367 horsepower uh, stock. And now I, uh, today I will show uh, how we tune this uh, using my tuner BD box. And we will tune it to the uh, 420. And uh, to show that uh, it is real uh, works, uh, I took with me uh, this fancy race logic device. So uh, when I go down, now we have factory firmware. Uh, at the motor control unit and now I will show you uh, how fast is it at, at factory firmware so uh, we will, I will drive now and we will see uh, race logic uh, values and then uh, I will tune this with my tuner BD box and then uh, I will uh, race again and we will see the difference so first uh, I will try uh, to drive now, I mean, to do the first race at the uh, at the factory. So, uh, ready, steady, go. Let's, okay, ready. Race logic ready and uh, start. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Stop. And now we have 511. It's a little bit uh, uh, not that good at, at, at the, uh, at the uh, Daimler uh, dogs, tech dogs, but this is real car. And we will see the 511. So uh, now I will stop the motor. And I plug this one uh, to the OBD diagnostic, and then I will select the, uh, the presets. So first, I have to turn ignition on, but the motor is off. Now I plug this to the OBD. It's not easy with one hand, but okay, done. Let's see. Okay, so there are several presets. I'm uh, bending the controller left, right to select the preset. So I have this factory full, I can flash it back. And this is factory uh, firmware short version. Uh, and there are different presets here. So uh, especially I have this one stage plus plus uh, 480 horsepower and the in with increased pops and bangs. So I will flash this one to test. Okay, to confirm, I'm pressing the controller down. And important, any time when I need to uh, flash the factory back, I just confirm this, and in two minutes I will have factory firmware. And this is sometimes important for the warranty issues. So, okay, I will flash this one, and I'm confirming I'm to pressing the controller uh, down. So, now confirmed, and it starts. The flashing will take uh, about three minutes, maybe a little less. And uh, so now started. Let's wait. It is important not to remove the box in the middle because the, it will be interrupted flash and the, you will be not able to start your motor anymore. So uh, here we have to be uh, uh, very critical on that. So about a half, 45 to go. near the end 
at the end it will ask to switch ignition off and then a switch ignition on so uh, 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 you have to observe the uh, command screen for messages so now it will ask to switch ignition off and i'm turning it off now and continue to observe in the uh, screen because now it will ask to switch ignition back on okay now i'm switching it back on ignition back on and uh, successfully finished so remove the model as soon as you see this message then you have to remove the model from the obd diagnostics so model is here okay so now it's time to start the motor you see the banks already here so uh but the the bed is uh, after the, i switch ignition off the my <laughs> fancy logic friends logic device uh looking for the uh satellite so i will stop the video now just to let him to find a satellite because this is old model then i will continue to uh to drive with the new firmware okay rest logic now ready let's start now Let's see how fast is it. 408. So about one second, 20%. Unbelievable. This is very nice. So my small device made it. Again, tune BD. So thank you for watching. Uh, good luck.